great place to start is at the African Bush Elephant, which has been on display since 1959. It weighs 8 tons. That's over 7,000 kilograms. African bush elephant's habitat is given away by its name, in the African bush. This includes savanna grasslands, partial desert areas and primary forest within Central and Southern Africa. These locations are perfect areas for the African bush elephant to find. Powerful roars to low frequency rumbles, elephants use a variety of vocalizations to communicate. Their sounds also include snorts, barks, grunts, trumpets, cries, and even imitated sounds. These calls are essential cues for the survival of an elephant family. See how much elephants eat, and you can see they do it pretty constantly. The good thing for us is that elephants do loads of other things at the same time as eating, but it's a background activity for them. Basically, if they're awake, they're eating. Whatever goes in has to come out again. And that has a really big effect on the ecosystems that elephants live in. They are what we call ecosystem engineers. Showing us the natural world in all its glory. He's the largest elephant ever prepared for a museum and it took heroic efforts from Smithsonian taxidermists to stand him up there for the world to see. But they had this enormous, enormous skin that they were trying to work with in the basement, you know, in the summer, in the heat. And apparently they had to put steam in the room to keep... William Brown and Norman Deaton, who prepared and mounted the hide over 16 months, managed to imbue this dead skin over a wood and plaster frame with an astonishing amount of life and character. The elephant holds court in the four-story rotunda, exuding confidence and power over its domain. 